a day on the net. Confrontation online over the election of the new prime minister in Thailand. The Russian opposition continues its online mobilization following Sunday's demonstrations. And today's highlights. In Thailand, after months of demonstrations, Parliament has designated the leader of the opposition, Apizit Wei Chachinwa, as Prime Minister. The web debates his nomination. Support for the new head of government is multiplying online. Videos of his campaign and amateur documents retracing his career have been hugely successful online. This blogger thinks Apizit Wei Chachinwa is the only one capable of bringing his country out of the current deadlock. But he reminds us that the government will be monitoring the repetitive corruption scandals. Supporters of the former exiled Taksin Shinawat removed from office by the Constitutional Court are fighting back, as we can see from the success of this fan site and in this editing of Taksin speeches denouncing the interference of the army in politics. Finally, Taksin supporters have also created many Facebook groups supporting his party, the People's Power Party. In Russia, the opposition's online mobilization continues, following Sunday's demonstrations where over 150 people were detained. The opposition coalition, Another Russia, denounces Moscow's approach. They try to marginalize the demonstration before banning it. These demonstrations filmed here by web users were organized in protest against the Kremlin's project to lengthen the presidential mandate from four to six years. Opponents have put these photos online. We see former officers of the Red Army that have come to support the movement, which coincided with the anniversary of the 1825 uprising, the adoption of a constitution after the Tsar's death. And to denounce the autocratic derivatives of the Russian leaders, some web users are going as far as to compare President Medvedev to Tsar Nicholas II and the Prime Minister Vladimir Putin to Rasputin. Barack Obama and the Internet, a story made to last. The president-elect's team have just launched Open for Questions, an online tool allowing American citizens to ask him questions via the site change.gov. Its success has exceeded expectations. 7,300 questions have been asked and over 10,000 web users have voted for what they perceive as the most important questions. The definitive version of Chrome, Google's first navigator, is now available to download. Aimed as competition for Mozilla Firefox and Internet Explorer, the Navigator is, for the moment, only available for Windows. Users of Linux and Macs must wait a little while longer.